My favorite way of using the cherry pepper jelly is using it as a somewhat barbecue sauce. And I love cooking ribs, but I don't like standing over the grill, letting them flare up. So what I do is I cook them in the oven, probably about 250 degrees for about two and a half hours. I let all the fat escape, leave it in the pan. Then I take it out, let it cool a little bit to where I can handle it. And then I put my pepper jelly on, heat up your barbecue grill, three minutes on each side, perfect. Now that we all have an Instapot, cut your ribs, maybe four ribs in a piece. Put them in your Instapot with about a cup of liquid, 20 minutes. Let it cool down. Then put your barbecue sauce, or excuse me, the pepper jelly uh, on it, and then put it on the grill. And that might even be the best. What happens if someone shows up to your house and you're thinking, what can I fix? Well, make sure you always have a brick of cream cheese available and a jar of your pepper jelly. Pour your pepper jelly on top of your cream cheese, serve it with any kind of cracker. My favorite is a Triscuit, but then others like Ritz or whatever, whatever cracker you have on hand, and that will be a delight.